Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number seven of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got this big number here, 927,586 and 3,400. We just need to find which of these statements is true. So let's open up our graph draw feature. We're going to expand it out with those arrows that are diagonal, make it a little bit more transparent so we can see what's going on. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to take that and I'm going to draw a really big place value chart. Okay, and I'm going to just kind of do it down here because I need the space to go side to side. So I'm going to start with my decimal. All right, there. I'm going to get some spaces over here. A comma. It looks like I'm going six spaces over. And then two spaces here. Okay, so let's label these. Right, so starting at the decimal, and let's do a whole number. Ones tens, hundreds, now this is the ones family of the ones period, because watch, this is the one thousands, this is the ten thousands, see the pattern, ones, tens, hundreds, hundred thousands, so this is the thousands family or the thousands period, and it's just going to go ones, tens, hundred million. One ten hundred billion keeps going once tens hundreds. Now, when we go into the right, there is no once, but if we can get past that once that doesn't exist, the rest of the decimals act as a mirror of the whole number. So tens tenths. Next is hundreds, hundredths. In fifth grade, you will expand to a third digit after the decimal, and that's the thousandths because the thousands is next. So let's put our number here. Let's see what we've got. So 927,586, 34 hundredths. All right. Now let's take a look. The digit 5 has a value of 5 times 10. No. Take a look at my 5. What spot is that in? That's in the 100 spot. So the 5 is a 5 times 100 because that's 100 or you can just think of the 5 and then there's two digits after it so there's going to be a 1 with two zeros so that is not working for me the 5 has got a 5 times 100 the digit 3 has a value of 3 times 1 hundredth okay that's a tricky one because it is a decimal take a look at my 3 but we're going to write this three times, and let me show you what I was talking about. Whenever you have a decimal, you always want to put a zero point. Okay? Now, you see how this three is the first place right after the decimal? That's where that one goes. So the, the one in both of these goes wherever that digit lands. So right in here, it lands in the hundred spot. Right here, it lands in the tenth spot. And then the zeros fill up everything else. So no. The 4 is in the 100 spot, not the 3. The digit 2 has a value of 10,000. Well, look at this. 2 ten thousands. Yeah, so that looks right. Now, if you didn't want to do it that way, watch. You can do this. So remember, the digit 1 goes wherever the, the 2 is, so that's a 1, right? And then zeros go in all the rest of the spots until the desk until the decimal. So that's how you can tell how many zeros there are. So C looks good. Let's check D to make sure it's incorrect. The digit 9, whoa, 9 has got 100,000, right? So it's going to be 9 times 100,000. You can also just put a 1 where that digit lies and just put zeros all the way across and there's your 100,000. So uh, that's incorrect. It's 100,000, not 1,000. So my answer here is C.